Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. This is another one-and-done sort of brawl. They brought back the portals. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, do I have a choice of class? Yes, I can do any class I want. So, um, I'll just um, do a quick survey of several different classes. I think uh, Druid's pretty good in this brawl. As before, it's like 23 unstable portals and 7 spells or something along those lines, and um, I'm not a big fan of this brawl for the same reason I wasn't a super big fan of it the first time, which is that um, a lot of times the games are not decided by the RNG of the portals, which is what it's kind of supposed to be, but rather by the RNG of what spells you get, because the spells are chosen at random. So, like, if you get something good, like Swipe, then that's, you know, way better than if you get something bad, like Astral Communion. Nourish and Mulch. Um, interesting. Mulch isn't bad, it does give you some hard removal, which can be important if the opponent drops something huge. But, um, we'll mulligan them. I think it's better to have as many unstable portals as possible early on. Alright, I like being the first player in this brawl, because you don't have to decide whether to use coin on turn one. I used to do it, then people on my channel commented that that was a mistake, but I'm not, not actually sure it's really a mistake. Because if you do get a three drop, it's better to get it. If you get something more expensive than three, then you did kind of waste your coin. I don't know, it's a, it's a close call. All right, when the button turns green, you know that you didn't get anything. I got a very lucky flip here. When you're the first player and you get a six drop on turn two, like a good one, not like, you know, something stupid like Leroy, which is five mana, but you get the idea. Um, that is actually really awesome because then you can just play it on turn three. Um, pretty much all you can have is if he gets super lucky and has a hex, which is just like the nuts in this brawl. Um, or of course something from the portals like a big game hunter. Fire Elemental, also pretty good, so that trades with mine. So he uh, manages to not fall behind here with this. Let's go ahead and just see real quick if the brawl changes anything, if I get like a Shattered Sun Cleric. Or anything like that. Hobgoblin, interesting. And Baron Geddon. Alright, well we'll just do the trade. And um, do I play the Hobgoblin? On the one hand, you know, I can play it later for free, and if I get any one power attack minions, it'll be good. But I'm just going to throw this out there. I think that the board control is just uh, too important to just keep this sitting in my hand. It's a 2-3 vanilla, which is good enough. All right, got a Flame Juggler, which unfortunately hits my Hobgoblin. Baron will be good. I can throw the Hobgoblin at this guy and then finish it off with Baron. Or I could play two portals. It's a tough call whether I get the guaranteed. Oh, alright. Hey, I gave me a dinosaur. Well, that's certainly fortunate. So I think here, um, I think I will go for the portals rather than the Baron because the dinosaur takes care of this stuff. Farseer, that, oh man, that changes everything. Well, okay, we'll hit this and Farseer to heal. SI agent. Interesting. Well, I can actually kill this thing now with Living Roots plus SI agent. Is that worth doing? Hmm. Well, see, we're definitely doing this. Do I want a Living Roots and kill that? This thing's not really that much of a threat, it seems. Alright, this might be a mistake, but I'm actually going to hang on to these guys for later. That Tank Master Oversuck giving me a dinosaur was quite fortunate. He got a Shredder. Well, that's a pretty good flip in this brawl. Mm, it kills my dinosaur and all my stuff. I mean, I could throw the uh, the dinosaur Devil Saur at it and then kill the juggler and then just drop a Baron to um to kill that. But I think what I'd rather do is uh, let's see what we get for the portals. You have a pirate game plus one plus one. Thanks. This guy's not a pirate, I don't suppose. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to do the Baron here. What I'm going to do is um, see what legendary pops out. Hopefully it's a crappy one. And it is a 6-6. Six, six, which is the regular old 6-6. Six, six. So still getting a 6-6 six, six for free is pretty solid. Unfortunately, it does not get killed by the Baron. So I don't see much point in playing the Baron here. Or, yeah, Baron Geddon. Kurobashi Berserker seems fine, actually, because it, uh, it survives a hit from Mr. Mechatork. It actually trades with him if he doesn't kill my guy, so he's not going to run this in, obviously, but anyway, um, let's uh, give the advantage to him at this point. That Shredder was really good, but it's been a crazy back-and-forth game, just as you'd expect from an unstable portal brawl. 
He got this guy. The spell damage could actually be significant. I don't have a swipe to clear it out. So he could keep that stealth pretty much forever. Wait, no, what am I talking about? It's going to get killed by the Baron. He actually throws a crackle at it. I would have maybe considered throwing it at the Gurabashi just to get it out of the way. With spell damage. It's got a... Oh no, it's only got a 1 in 4 chance of killing it with spell damage. Decides to go face, which uh, I can't really blame him. Alright, I think now is the time to play the Baron, right? So this guy's gonna die, so I might as well throw him at that. Now I could shapeshift to do the remaining damage needed to kill that. That drops me a little low on health. Or I could use Living Roots to preserve my health. Let's actually preserve the health here. I don't want to get burned down. Oh wait, I really should have um you know I don't I don't want a portal here. Do I? Yeah, I want a portal. That's fine. So we're gonna portal up. Get night blade. Whackity smackity do. So this actually ends up being a pretty good counter to his legendary and his other play. Now I've got this guy, a 5-5. Five, five. It's got five cards to five cards. I can nourish for a bunch more portals, hopefully. It's looking all right here. He's going to have to get something good off a of portal or, you know, draw a good shaman spell, but I'm not sure what he could really use. All right, that's a pretty good flip in this um, brawl because you pretty much are guaranteed... Well, you, you, there's no minions in any deck, so you're guaranteed to get a spell, and it's likely to be a portal. It's a pit fighter. Ah, that's annoying because it does kill my Gurubashi. Hmm. It doesn't also quite die to the SI agent. It stays at a maddening three health. Alright. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the Baron alive. Mind control deck doesn't exactly help me. So we'll do this and I'll take the damage here. It's a bit risky, but what's well, life if you don't take risks, right? We're just going to whackity smackity do, And should I play Nightblade? Yeah, let's play Nightblade. Four extra damage next turn. Um, might be the difference between killing him or not. So I'm threatening lethal, and okay, he's just gonna have to answer my board here. Or else be screwed. Farsight gives him basically a free unstable portal. It's not actually a bad spell to flip in this arena because, well, you do lose a mana. But, um, the problem is that, well, the good thing about it is that most spells just suck. Like, it's better to have, you know, a, a three-man unstable portal than, like, a totemic might. And we win. Yay. Okay. Um, so that's it for Druid. Let's, you know, just continue our survey of what I think the good classes are. Um, uh, I think, actually, Hunter's not bad. Although, I know you don't see many Hunters. I think Hunter's not bad because it gives you a little bit of finishing power with your hero ability, and sometimes, you know, if it's if it's a close fight, that little bit of extra damage is the most important thing. You know, you typically want to be casting portals, not playing your hero power, so Hunter's, I think, a pretty good one. Okay. Now, Hunter spells a little bit touch and go, but, like, lock and load, for example, is pretty cool, and most of the traps are all right. So, Flare, I don't think I need to keep. The opponent's not going to have any secrets. Snake Trap, I don't want to keep either. I think we're just going to go for maximum portals versus Soul Reaver over here. And so I'm the second, so i got to decide whether to use the coin or not. It's really hard to say. I'll keep the coin, but, you know, when the opponent, like, portals on turn two and then plays a three drop, you kind of wish you had already, you know, coined portal and played your three drop. Then again, if you coin portal and get, like, a five drop or something. Well, a five drop's actually good because you can play it on turn two. But like a 4-drop, you sort of end up wasting your coin. Because you could have just coined on turn 2 and then... Or sorry, portaled on turn 2 and then coined and played the 4-drop anyway. Anyway, I don't know. There might not even really be an answer. Chillmon, not bad. Alright. So because I saved the coin, I do get to play a 6-6 six, six with Taunt on turn 3, which is pretty solid. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, get the Death Rattle, but it's a 6-6 six, six with Taunt. This is a pretty good flip in this brawl, because you... Do have a lot of cheap spells to play, but well, hopefully it doesn't have anything crazy like Slam Execute. He'll play well. He can play up to four cards this turn, realistically. Portal, Portal, and then for the, if they're both three or less, he can play them both as well and kill my Chilma. So um, that's kind of what he needs here. Quester is a pretty good one. Oh, he doesn't have it. I think he should go for it, though. He should at least play his two portals and see what he gets. 
I think just throwing it away is a mistake. He's actually got an execute, which is pretty spectacular. So maybe I guess with holding an execute, he didn't want to play two portals, because in case the one of them were the second one was a bust, then he wouldn't have the mana for execute. Well, this is a pretty bad flip from the portal, unless he also finds a silence or a taunt giver, which is not that likely. But then there are other good cards, like Void Terror, I guess, would be pretty good with that. So, do I want to play Questing, or Questing Adventure? Cruel Taskmaster? Probably not. I think that'll find a use later. And a 2-2, I mean, is it really that good? Plus, we got this guy. I can deal up to 3 damage with the two of these to something that he plays. So here's where things get scary, because it could drop a 6 drop here. And I haven't really gotten anything good. This isn't a huge body 5 drop, so it's not going to give me an advantage. The Execute. See what I mean, though? That Execute let him kill my 6-6, six, six, and like that has mattered more than any of the portal randomness so far. I wish it was just 30 portals, honestly, but then again, there wouldn't be, then, then there wouldn't be that much difference between the classes. I mean, it's tough. It's, it's tough to balance this brawl. Alright, so now the question is, do I want to play another portal? Or do I want to just go for the Skulker? All the Skulker really does is trade with the Booty Bay, so I'm not in a rush. I'll take 5 damage. On a bar ambusher. Alright, this is actually good. I'd rather have the ambusher trade with the booty bay because this death rattle is a real liability, so I don't really want to deal with it if I don't have to. I mean, yes, these guys would have been decent to pop back, but then they'd be full cost, remember? If you put something to the board and it goes back in your hand, it becomes a full cost version of itself, and that's obviously clearly much less good than the unstable portal or reduced cost version. This guy's going to take a little bit of time before he gets any good. Although a 2-7 for 2 is pretty solid. So holding on for too long would be a mistake. This thing doesn't die to my Skulker plus the Taskmaster, unfortunately. Alright, Nightblade. Um, do I want to throw this guy out right now? I, I might as well save that guy. I feel like he could be used as a big swing later on. Mech Bearcat is what I would have liked to play here. Unfortunately, that came up second rather than first. So we'll play Nightblade, just see how this goes, hopefully it doesn't have any spells, hopefully it doesn't have like Bash or something ridiculous. But this would be a good drop, the problem is it's turn 7, he can play up to an 8 drop here, he's been casting a lot of portals, hasn't played that much stuff, so he could definitely have some good stuff. And that's a pretty good one, doesn't die to Skulker, well, actually hold on, oh man, did you seriously, you've got to be kidding me, god damn it, I was going to be able to kill this with Skulker plus Taskmaster on my Nightblade, but now instead that doesn't happen. So, I got what, 5 7? So, I get to do one portal here. Wind Fury. Play that. And, um. Yeah, I guess we just need to play this. It sucks. All it really does is hits Nefarian to trade with my Bearcat. But, that's what I gotta do. Got a pretty good flip on that Hunter's Mark off of Nefarian. Alright, this guy's pretty junky, but it's, it's a 3 3 for 1. That might give me a little bit of extra advantage. He's got a lot of cards here. I'd say he's got the advantage. This guy is just a mountain of stats, really. I have to make sure I don't hold on to him for too long. He can still play up to a 7 drop here, which is pretty scary. Whoa, what's this card from all the way on the left? That could be some spell. Nope, just a portal. Alright. Well, it is, it is a spell, but, uh, yeah. Chicken. Okay, I get a little bit of a lucky break there with that chicken. Makes me wish I'd held on to the Skulker for a turn. Grim Patron. Well, makes me glad I didn't hang on to the Skulker. Alright. Um, this guy doesn't quite die to my Taskmaster, tragically. I can give this Wind Fury, kill the Patron, and kill the Snowbolt. That's probably what I want to do here. Let's just see what I have here. This guy. Alright, cool. And that thing could be good. That could actually end up costing zero. Yeah, let's, let's, see, let's see what happens here. Let's see what spare parts I get. So we can kill that... Cool inside. This is good, so I can freeze Nefarian. 
which makes me feel not bad about that. And, uh, whoa! That cloak field is a pretty good flip. Um, yeah! I think I will play this thing. Even though it stops me from playing either of these guys, I think it's worth it, because this is a Wind Fury 7-1. I think it's worth keeping around. And now the 2-2 can take out his 8-2 as long as he doesn't have a silence. Actually, that, that was pretty good. Now he's got 5 cards and a lot can happen in 5 cards. But, uh... Power Shot, seriously? Oh, wow, what a good flip from Nefarian. God damn it. Power Shot and Hunter's Mark. Well, I got another coolant. I'm probably gonna just want to kill Nefarian with my 3-1, though. Uh, <clears throat> that's my alarm going off. Probably just gonna want to kill the Nefarian with my 3-1, assuming it's alive. So I can keep the 6-4. And then use this to free some more important targets. Seriously? Golly Jesus, these spells. And then that thing has overload, which could be good, although the 2-5 is pretty good against my board. Luck you know what? Luckily, I'm lucky I got to keep the 3-1, all things considered. That's that's pretty pretty good stroke of fortune. So let's um do this. The heal bot could be good later. It's a bit crappy for a 5-drop, though. That's definitely crappy. Um, yeah, let's just play another portal. Wailing Soul. Do I have anything that I'd want to silence? Definitely not. So we have to kill that. Then we kill, or then we play this. And then we play that. Let's we'll play this thing. And pass the turn. We got an 8 7 for 2 mana. Not bad. Let's see if he's got a good answer to it. He's already used up Crush. And he had an Execute. And he got Hunter's Mark and Power Shot. Really? Wow, two Nefarians. Ah, two Nefarians. That's just rich. So I have to trade my 8-7 for his 8-8, tragically. Damn it. I mean, I could freeze it for a turn, maybe use this to kill something else, get a little bit of an advantage. Christ on a cracker. Well, as long as he didn't get um, Hunter's Mark and fucking Power Shot this time, I'll be pretty content. Hunters have a bunch of secrets and crap. Charge are you goddamn kidding me? That's ridiculous. So now I can't quite kill it with my 2-1. I don't have any sources of damage. Damn. Explosive shot. Alright, alright, it's pretty good. I could do shenanigans with coolant, but let's just, uh, let's just do this. This seems totally fine. So we can kill that guy. Do I kill this 2-3? You know what? I'm just going to hit him for 8 damage. He's got to be out of answers at this point. We'll play this thing. Oh, it's an ins it's an inspire effect. I thought I thought this was a battle cry for some reason. Well, well, I guess then we'll do that, huh? And um, I'll hit him in the face with that. It's fine. I mean, it dies to the silt fin, but the silt fin was gonna get killed by the squire regardless. All right, so he's gotta find something with his portals, I reckon. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Got to admit, that explosive shot kind of makes up for the... You know, I don't even say top decks, because he had an execute, crush, um, power shot, and hunter's mark. So I think he had a pretty good pretty good time of things. All right, he gets a secret, which is really just impossible to predict. Obviously, it was randomly given to him by Nefarian. Um, there's no particular secret that's really great against me. Maybe the bear trap would be the best one. Dust Devil's pretty good to see. I can kill that easily. So in the event of Freezing Trap, I really don't want to um, attack with a Bolvar first. Wow, another Explosive Shot. Not bad. Let's check for Freezing. It's not Freezing. Let's check for Explosive or Misdirection. It's Bear Trap. Alright, this is actually okay. Um... I think I will just use my other explosive shot on this bear. Whack him. And then just apply the pressure. No need to play the bot. Let's, let's not go too crazy here. So I'm threatening lethal with like basically the squire and steady shot. And then these minions are just gravy. So he's got to find something with the portals. Can't play Deathwing. It's too expensive. 
There are there are I'm sure things you could get. Alexstrasza. Actually, Alexstrasza wouldn't heal him enough. I'd still have enough damage. Yeah, this is uh, eight, thirteen, fifteen. So um yeah, but there's things besides Deathwing. I'm sure. And he didn't get them. Okay. Well, we got another win. Warrior. I don't think is a particularly great class actually in this brawl. So there's Hunter. Yeah, look at those steady shots. Making it rain. Um, another good class that I think is worth playing in this brawl is Mage. But that's pretty obvious. Uh, I think Mages do have a really good hero ability. You know, it can give you a little bit of reach. And the ability to kill off big minions without having to take face damage is pretty huge. Like, I mean, if, if I'd been a mage that game when I was the druid, there was definitely a couple of times I would have liked to shapeshift, but, you know, I didn't want to take the retaliatory damage because the minions are large. So, mage is pretty good. And obviously, mages have solid spells. There's a card draw. There's board, clear. There's single target removal. We pretty much got everything. There are some junky ones, but uh, for the most part, their spells are solid. All right, we're first, which I like. So I don't have to make that choice about whether to use the coin. I think I did make the right choice in the last game. I mean, okay, it's always either right or wrong. It's, it's always objective. Like, it's not like in one case it's the right, in one case it's wrong. It's just sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. But it worked out well because of Chilma. Even though he did have Execute for it, it still ended up being really good. Okay, so he's going to coin down... And uh, hopefully not get a 3-drop. Got a 1-drop. Eh, you know, it's fine. I'm not even going to ping this. I think ping is actually a mistake here. Honestly, just trying to get a minions better. Unless I got something playable. I got a 3-drop. Live in the dream. Mirror image is really not one of the better spells. Mages almost have no bad spells, but this is definitely down there in this brawl. Sometimes it can strategically protect your stuff while you whack him in the face. Alright, so this is actually pretty good, so my 3-drop kills his. Because I didn't ping his thing, though, he actually engineered a trade, which was quite clever, I have to admit. Scarlet Crusader. Um, let's see, is this worth it? I think now is the time for the mirror image. Let's start going for the face. He can't Consecrate because he's used his coin. I can ping and pop shield to kill this elemental and still play a portal next turn. Wolf Rider kills off the mirror image. Ah, all right, so now I'm going to want to... Now there's a couple things I want to ping. Hmm. Counterspell. Really not the best. It basically counters one of their unstable portals, is all it does. Ice Howl. All right, that's actually not bad. Obviously, can't go to the face with this, but, you know, a lot of this brawl is just trying to win by attrition. And the fact that this can kill anything just about in the whole game and kill something else after that is pretty makes it a pretty solid flip. I just Dark Bane. All right, I can kill this um, if I use a ping. And I think I'm actually gonna pop Counter Spell here since I've got this next turn. I actually don't mind spending three mana to counter two of his mana because that's just like one less thing that he can play. And that increases my odds of being able to get extra mileage out of this Ice Howl. Alright, this is actually pretty nice. I don't even have to use Ice Howl for that. I can use my Scarlet Crusader for that one. So, taking 10 damage here is a little rough. Or not 10 damage, 5 damage is a little rough. That means he can reasonably kill this thing off with one more minion. But I am ahead on cards here. He's got 3 cards. I have 4 portals. Humility. Alright, well, if I don't top deck a Silence... A silence actually, not top deck, but if I portal into a silence, there's not that many silence effects. So there's like a Wailing Soul I could get, and Keeper of the Grove, uh, Owl, Spellbreaker. But anyway, um, that would be good. That would turn this into a 10 that can go to the face. I could just Banana Town this Ice Howl. Or the Arena seems pretty good. Yeah, why don't we just... Uh, just do this. So I'm not concerned about his vitality totem. Um, I'll just leave it be. Because I'm really winning on cards. I'm not even exactly sure how it happened, but I just got very good flips and ended up completely crushing him on cards. This is bad. Paladins have a good hero ability for brawls, but when you're getting random spells, it's just bad because all those secrets are so terrible. So what does he have? Probably... Uh, Avenge, I reckon. Although you can just really never tell. Let's check for Avenge. It is Avenge. So that's probably the best he could have had. 
This becomes a 3-5, which I'm pretty okay with. Let's just kill it. I'm being sloppy. I should have technically portaled first. Junk bot. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that was actually remarkably lucky. I, I don't really do that well in this brawl. I usually lose. Like you said, I'd, 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 I had, like, what, three wins at the start of this video? And, like, I definitely played more than three times. Uh, but anyway, that was, that's been pretty lucky so far. So, um, let's do one more. I think Priest is a pretty good one. Priests have some really questionable spells. It's true. But um, cards like the Shadow Words, the, uh, the Mind Control, Power Word Shield's good. Mass Dispel can be alright, depending on what the opponent has. They have, some, they have some okay stuff, but mainly it's just, you know, having access to Shadow Words for efficient removal against big and small things that can swing the tide in your favor. Right, up against a Warlock. It's not really my favorite class, the Warlock. I think that, um, it's, it's tempting to be like, oh, well, okay, so, you know, you can life tap and get more portals, but the problem is you don't really want to use your hero power much. You have to kind of base it by the spells that your class gets, and Warlocks have a lot of shitty spells. Alright, I got a uh, Resurrect, which is not that great. Unless the first thing I play is a 6-drop or something. Then the Resurrect can be basically like a second copy of that 6-drop. But, you know, if you flip a portal and you get something junky, then it just sort of sucks. Okay, the Mana Addict's not bad in this brawl for two drops, just because it usually, um, well, you have, you have all these portals, obviously, and you can just keep on playing them. The good news is he's used his coin, so the most that he can do next turn, realistically, is just one portal, so this guy has a Chillwind Yeti, should hang tight. And I think it's better to play him than to gamble with a random portal. You could obviously play some one-mana spell, I don't know, Power of Whelming, well, I wouldn't really work with it. Um... What one mana spell could a warlock play? Mortal Coil, I guess? Drinkmeister. Mm-hmm. So, um... He got a Sorcerer? Alright, well, this is one that's definitely not going my way. Well, let's think about this. I could actually heal this. Kill the Shrinkmeister. Still, still dies to the Sorcerer, unfortunately. Mm. And the Mana Addict wall. While we're at it. Shoot, I, that was probably a mistake. I should have probably just uh, done a portal. King Crush, that's a pretty good one. Kind of like a kind of like Ice Howl, they can go face. Ice Howl's honestly better, I think. The extra damage isn't relevant, but the extra health helps it be more valuable. Man, that's a good flip. Christ. And this, well, but whatever. You can't complain about flips in this brawl. I mean... I've had my luck in the other few games. This kind of sucks. I would like to get King Crush back with it, but I can't afford to wait until the next turn to play Crush. Honestly, I'd, I'd play uh, Holy Nova here if I could get one. Oh, uh, yeah, i got to play that thing. And unfortunately, my other portal flip is a bust. Frost Giant's pretty bad in this brawl. I mean, it's an 8-8 eight, eight, uh, six, eight, eight for 6. You don't really want to use your hero power. He got a lot of really cheap minions, and not just cheap minions, but really effective one, like this Mana Addict, and then the Sorcerer's Apprentice. He got a 3-5 for 4 right when he needed it. Uh, well, it was actually 1, obviously. It's a, originally a 3-5 for 4. I'm probably just going to concede after this next turn, unless I top deck Holy Nova, because Holy Nova would have... Like, if this had been Holy Nova, I could have killed all this stuff last turn, these three, and then been totally fine. Sky Captain Crag. That's a pretty good thing there. A 4 6 with charge. Holy Nova still would be great. That would just be incredibly lucky if I actually got it. King Crush doesn't even save me. I pretty much die next turn. So, I don't know what I could get with a portal that would actually matter, but gotta go for it. Ram Wrangler, definitely not gonna cut it. Twilight Drake, not gonna cut it. And yeah, that was all good stuff, but he just got the nuts there. Well, you know, it happens. So that's Priest. Are there any other good classes? I think all the rest are rather questionable. But, um, let's go ahead and uh, do a Warlock. You know, for vengeance. See if I can get lucky that like that last Warlock. Watch for me, I'm probably gonna get like, you know, Junkbot and 
screw jank clunker and five chickens. Against another warlock, jeez. Zizeki. Mortal Coil is not bad, but it's definitely not a keeper in your opening hand. There we go. More portals I see, the happier I am. Alright, I'm not going to use the coin on turn one. I ended up pretty cl being pretty glad I didn't do it. Not one game with the chill maw against the warrior, so we'll see how it works. It was probably a mistake to heal my Mimiron's head. I probably should have just traded it away and then flipped portals. Ah, there we go. That's what we needed right there. Good old Sacrificial Pact. Well, unless I flip like a Dread Steed or he plays Draxus or something. Ah, it's just worthless. Sense Demons is another hilariously worthless one. All right. I win the coin flip on the Tink Master again. Twice in one video. Incredible. This is a dead card. Well, I got up a card there with that, so hopefully that makes up for the Sacrificial Pact. Loot Order has a tiny chance of giving me up another card, or getting me up another card. Yep. Murloc War Leader. Not quite dead to Loot Order, unfortunately. Here's where I actually wouldn't have minded a Mortal Coil. Alright, can I get a buff minion? The answer is... Survey says... Nope. Alright, it's fine. Manatide's not bad. King Zelic, if you play Joust minions in this brawl, they don't do anything because nobody has any minions. Got a Corruption. This is not great. But it can be better than nothing. The Manatide's not a bad flip just to get lots of extra portals. Um, that, that can just win you the game sometimes. I am down a card, thanks to the pact, so I am going to need um, a little bit of help. This is probably a 2 for 1, because he plays anything big and I can corrupt it and then he kills a minion of mine. He actually life taps here. I think it's a mistake. Definitely a portal would have been better to play. He's a raid leader. Okay. Well... We're just going to kill both of these things, I am pretty sure. Let's get that one first. Demon Wrath. Uh, not the greatest. Let's flip portals here. Kidnapper. Um, Yeah, I think that's worth it. Wait a minute, is that really worth it? So it puts out a 5-3, but used on a bigger minion it'd be, it's maybe more impressive. So yeah, we'll hang on to that guy. That could be a mistake, you know, a good option now is better than the best option later and all that, but... Alright, made my choice. I got a very good flip, though. A 4-drop was perfect. It perfectly used up my mana. I can always trigger combo with coin if I need to with this guy. And then if he plays, like, a huge 9-drop here, or a Sneeds or whatever other hell, this is very strong. Fist of Draxus... He whiffs with that, and he actually paid full price for it. That's very unlucky for him. This guy. I keep seeing a lot of him in this brawl for some reason. I'll play him. I gotta get stuff out of my hand just because of this Manatide totem. Um, I don't want to start burning portals. But this is actually looking good. The Manatide was a good flip. He didn't get any good minions. I didn't get any good spells, but my spells haven't mattered because he apparently just hasn't gotten any good flips at all. Well, I've gotten playable things. That Tink Master was really good. He plays another Fist of Jaraxxus. Oh, that's pretty desperate. Oh my god. Oh! Well played, sir. Well played. That was really, really well played. I was like, wow, that person doesn't know how to read cards. Anyway, here's where we use the Kidnapper to put a 6-drop back in his hand. He doesn't really want to replay that. Scrooge and Clunker called it! Booyah! Bonk. So, we're in pretty good shape. I'm just ass up on cards, board, and health. Thank you, Manatide. That was a really good flip. He's got a Mech Bearcat, which is way too slow. And four cards. Bane of Do All right, here it is. He's got to get a good demon here, Malganus or something. He gets an Imp Gang Boss, which is a pretty good one, but he really needed, like, something just 
ridiculously unfair. Okay. So, um... 5, 9, 11. This does not hit face. Okay. Well, let's, uh... See what we got here. Black wing technician. Not bad. Mech warper. Not bad. Enhanso Mechano. I think that's actually worth um, not playing another portal on. Well, Wind Fury will do the job here. Actually, I needed two Wind Furies, didn't I? So I got pretty lucky that I got the kill right here, but. Also, I should have I should have played these first to give them stuff as well from Enhanso. Anyway, we win! Yay! Alright, we got time for one more. So, what am I going to do of these four? What's the least bad? I think probably Shaman. But who's to say? Oh, it's really funny, too. That at the beginning of this brawl period, uh, it said, you know, unstable portal, blah, blah, blah. And then when you started playing, I actually played, like, a few web spinner brawls. It's hilarious. It's like a classic case of, like, you had one job is to make sure the the, the the right portal's loaded, and then that one guy at Blizzard keeps, like, fucking it up. Like, some poor guy named Gary has, like, been threatened with being fired. It's like, you just had to put the right portal in there, Gary. Why can't we trust you to do anything, Gary? Why are you such a cock-up? Anyway, we're up against Topo Mutante. Alright, not bad. These are actually perfectly fine. I'm gonna mulligan them, of course. But because you're going to be playing undercosted huge minions, that makes a uh, thing that gives you your minion back pretty effective. Of course, I, I prefer to mulligan away all my class spells. Um, unless there's something really amazing. What would I keep? What what class spell would I keep in my opening hand? I'm not actually sure. Maybe something just like really, really good, like a swipe or a holy nova, just to um, you know, be down a card at first. But have it in case you desperately need it. And have like the one card in the game that will save you. Hmm, hard to say. Hard to say. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Morph. Bing, bing. Chomp, chomp. Morph. Bing. Alright, it's been working for me, not coining on turn one, so we'll keep it up. It's weird, because it seems like it's the right play to hold on to your coin, but when you're against someone, you kind of hope they don't use the coin. So, it's hard to say which one is right. Did he get a three drop? He... Dip. Dip, dip, hip. He didn't. Okay, getting all my portals, which is pretty good. That means if I get a bunch of trash spells later, I uh, don't get screwed. This is not a bad top deck. I'd rather have a Boulder of Astogre or something, but hey, I mean, a six drop is generally better to flip than like a two drop. He has, does he have a four drop here? Some four drops will own this. Actually, he does. This is a five three. It will trade with my four five. I'm going to play it regardless. I think flipping portals and risking getting nothing sucked too much. Of course, if I had gotten like a 3-2, I would have much rather traded that in for this, but I feel like uh, the safer play is better. So all my spells are buried in the deck, getting lots of portals here. I think this is actually so many portals I've seen now that it's starting to be a little bit improbable. Does he have anything to play? It's a little scary when they don't play things. It kind of suggests they have something big later. Ah, alright, so he's got some stuff. Well, it's unfortunate that he got this thing last turn. My Winfrey Harpy would have been great against this stuff. Okay, so I'm hoping for a 5-drop here. Or a 6-drop. That would be ideal. Well, that will be played next turn, most likely. And, okay, this I don't like in this brawl. It's still pretty expensive for having only 5 health. It doesn't usually survive. So, uh, it's, uh, it's tough now. I actually give him the advantage here. I will, of course, get to shred 15 of his health and play an 8-8. But he has the initiative. He's played all these cards. He's many portals ahead of me. Does he have a 4-drop here? He's another 3-drop. These 1-4s aren't too threatening. I do have some time. Okay, well, here goes. Mwah. Let's see if he has Shadow or Death or a good portal to answer that. The fact that this thing has taunts kind of annoying. Forces me to waste a lot of damage killing it. Malganus! Pretty good one! Oh, that's a demon too? Holy shit. 
Wow. Alright. So that just happened. Huh. Pretty good response to what I had going on here. Okay, well, I gotta hope that Corhound trades with Malganus. If you can kill this Corhound by other means, I'm totally fucked. Wow, he actually had a demon with Malganus. That was that was pretty crucial. He wouldn't have been able to kill Alexstrasza otherwise. Oh, what? Oh, come on, please. Jesus, slow fucking Weezus. So, that's not good. He could actually ignore my Corehound here if he wanted to. Oh, he's totally gonna ignore that Corehound. Ouch. <laughs> well can't always get what you want but if you try sometimes you might just get a demon in uh, brawl and then with Malganus with wind fury okay uh, yeah let's see what we get for portals maybe a big game hunter nope this guy why does that guy keep coming up Christ on a freaking cracker oh this thing cannot charge if I portal again I can't crackle uh. Uh, this really is just way too bad. Alright, well, um, he's got four damage right here. He just needs one more damage and he wins. Wind Fury Malganus with a demon. Well, this, 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 this week's brawl is for you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is this week's brawl. How many wins did I get? Four wins in this video? Or three? I hope it's four. I have that win five brawls quest thing. Okay, he goes for the face, which is totally smart. Alright, what could I get? Lord Jaraxxus? Do I have enough mana to play him? Do I have enough mana to play Jaraxxus? Uh, I don't think I do. Well, let's see. Wait, I have seven, two, eight. Yeah, I won't have enough. I'll have up to, um, up to an eight mana minion. Roink? Cool, but too late. Roink? Cool beans, beauty queens, but nope. Roink? I'm running out of things that would actually save me. Well played, sir. That that was that was pretty well played. Alright, well that'll do it for this video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more Hearthstone Arena. Come on, tell me I had four wins. Oh yes, yeah, so just one more. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, everybody.